And the playing of the U.S. Air Force song, Off We Go Into the Wild Blue Yonder, signifies an Oregon National Guard member is now in charge of the first Air Force. Newswatch 12 was there to witness Major General Gary C. Dean taking command yesterday during a formal ceremony at Tyndall Air Force Base in Florida. The first Air Force ensures the nation's airspace is safe and works directly with Oregon to do that. In a report you will only see here on Newswatch 12, Topa Tepper reports that the relationship between the Oregon National Guard is growing stronger with the organization that oversees the protection of the country's airways. Many of Major General Dean's fellow Guard members from Oregon traveled to Florida to see their friend accept his new appointment. They say he is a success story and it's a proud day for Oregon. Major General Gary Dean is now the commander of the 1st Air Force. Quite an honor and responsibility to take over command of 1st Air Force. But before Major General Dean took over command, he was an Oregon Guardsman. His first job in the state was an F-15 instructor pilot in Portland. He worked his way through the ranks, becoming Oregon's Assistant Adjunct General for Air in 2006. And he credits the leadership he found in the Oregon National Guard for helping him get to where he is now. Oregon's record of excellence truly helped enable my selection for this position. And uh, that's just something that uh, I would like to see carried out. Based at Tyndall Air Force Base in Panama City, Florida, the first Air Force is where the Air Force provides all of its support to defend America's airspace. Whether that's a natural disaster or whether that's uh, any type of uh, homeland defense effort in response to uh, what our enemies might want to do inside of our own borders. And it depends on units based throughout the country to help provide that protection, including the 142nd Fighter Wing based in Portland. And all the air defense units, such as ourselves up in Portland, are aligned under him. To carry out those missions, pilots use fighter jets like this one. And to learn how to do those missions, they either come here to Tyndall Air Force Base in Florida, or they go to Klamath Falls at Kingsley Field. Students at Kingsley Field train on F-15 fighter jets. They learn how to turn on the jets, how to taxi, take off and land, and how to fight. We train them and we put them into operation and the, the first Air Force benefits uh, from the skills that, uh, of the Oregon National Guard. Most of the students in Klamath Falls are active duty. The Air Guard is an, uh, a very critical component of the active duty Air Force and the de Department of Defense. So uh, it's very difficult to have one without the other and we're uh, integrated into uh, the very uh, fabric of the active duty Air Force. Major General Dean says the Oregon National Guard has a great reputation outside of the state as an organization that is competent and committed to its missions. Really, Oregon's where, where I really grew. And even with the new title and the new responsibilities, Major General Dean says he is still an Oregon Guardsman. Currently, there is a proposal for Tyndall Air Force Base to draw down its F-15 training unit, which would mean Klamath Falls will be the only F-15 fighter jet school in the country.